Hello everybody, welcome to Digimon Story Cyber Sooth Part 20. I'm your host, the one only Dig. We finished all, uh, not all, but two side quests last time. We did the main quest with Ryota last time. And now we're ready to move on with the Kano underground. Excuse me, underground. Government. This is a case from the government. Yeah, I couldn't have guessed that. The door in the Kano underpass has been unlocked. What waits on the other side? Let's find out. I'll explain all the details. The client this time is the local government that takes care of the utilities for Nakano. Basically, it's a bureaucratic agency. Why are so shocked, Aaron? <laughs> Why are you so shocked, exactly? Of course, we specialize in the supernatural and complex cybercrimes, so we usually, we usually have a very specific clientele. But we cooperate very well with Detective Matayoshi's police force, so they consider us to be a pretty good detective agency. Good. So we've re received a case from a public agency, quite a rare event. This case was, ri was originally discussed by Detective Matayoshi with the government agency. It's a bit special, so Detective Matayoshi passed us down to the government agency like a sort of ace up his sleeve, and now it's our case. Okay, makes sense. Got it? Aaron gets it. Good. The case is to unlock a gate in the Kano underpass. It seems the gate is locked due to some electronic glitch and can't be opened. Huh? What, you don't know about the Kano Underpass? It's a facility that houses the equipment used to provide the Kano's public utilities, such as power cables, water pipes, and so on. Okay. They are moving forward with a plan to improve the look of the city center above ground by housing the public utilities underground. That makes sense. Looks like the visible Looks like the visible power cables and telephone poles are sent. I can't speak tonight, guys. I'm sorry. It's late at night. I'm getting a little tired. So forgive me. Are set, to, are set to disappear in the not too distant future. Underneath the Kano, there is a vast complex of tunnels. So there are, of course, many entrances. One of these entrances is the place where the gate we need to unlock is. It is a password protected electronic lock, but it seems some time ago it locked for no reason and no one has been able to get it open since. They contacted the manufacturer, but they gave up. Quitters. If needs be, they will destroy the gate, but obviously that will incur serious costs. While the costs were discussed, a weird groaning sound was heard coming from the other side of the gate. It seems something strange is going on. Yeah, I'll bet. The manufacturer had a bad feeling about it and didn't want to open the gate, but the government suspected criminal activity and called Matayoshi. Probably Digimon related. <laughs> Oh, Aaron is actually talking. I see, so then the buck passed to the Kermit Detective Agency. Well, after all, we have the best people for the job if you want access to a place that is off-balance the most. There's a rarity when Aaron does speak in dialogue, but it's a really shame that she doesn't have an actual voice. This is actually a pretty good opportunity. I put pretty in there, but it's not pretty. I've been wanting to investigate the rumors surrounding the Kyle's underground system for a while. The gate in question has electronic locks, so naturally there's a cyberspace inside it. You're the only one who could break into the gate without destroying it. We've already received permission from the government to access the underpass. Alright then, shall we go and find out what the real situation with this underground gate is? Where is that groaning voice coming from? What kind of strange world lies beyond the gate? This is going to be so much fun. Huh? It's an underground gateway, so there will be just an underground tunnel behind it, right? Hee <laughs> hee, have you ever heard of the... Stock... Stochastic process in quantum mechanics? No. I guess I should t should tell you about Schrodinger's cat. Not sure what that is either. Until we open up the gate, we cannot know if we will find underground tunnel or the void of space. That's one way to look at it. Until you open that gate, the world is in the flux of overlapping possibilities. So just try to enjoy it. <laughs> Let's go. The case is a simple matter of unlocking the gate, but... But what? What's behind the gate? Your job is to find that out. Thanks for being so blunt, Kyoko. Oh. I still don't know. I didn't look that up. It's obviously not the Digiway. I'll say Haru... Haruji? Whatever. I like the pronunciation, guys. You know that already. A 
So I did make a mistake in my last Cyber Soup video. I said that this, the um, Hacker's Memory is coming out on the 16th of January. It's actually coming out on the 19th of January. I made a bit of error in judgment, but I'm still going to hold off and playing that till I'm done with this game. Did you arrive at the underpass? The gate we need to unlock is inside. The control panel should be beside you. Do you see it? Connect jump into it and unlock the gate. There it is. Because even though the RPGs wear down my throat by talking a lot, guys, I do enjoy them very much. I hope you enjoy them too. What happened? What? Connect jump isn't working. That's strange. <clears throat> It's an electronic lock, so there should be some kind of network inside it. Perhaps it's just that you didn't activate the connect, activate the connect jump properly. Right, I think it's time I verified your ability to perform a connect jump. <clears throat> Let me take a sip. Raise your hand. Now concentrate. Now what? That's it. Aaron looks upset. 30 minutes later. One hour later. Your arm must be very tired, Aaron. Several hours later. Okay, now they're exaggerating. <laughs> very much so. Very exaggerating, very much. 100 years later. We'd be well dead at this point. <laughs> what were you doing just now? Whatever you're doing, it seems like it's not working. Yeah, no shit. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh no, it looks like I can't verify it. Well, it seems you, that you can only connect jump if you feel disappointed. You don't say. I rather posit a theory as to how your connect jump works. Your ability locates a digital wave, piggybacks on... In on it to the target location's digital space and then enters it. It can be a network, a PC server. It doesn't matter what the target location is. If it has a digital space, then you should be able to access it. However, there seem to be certain limitations when interfering with the, with the digital wave. In other words, when you can, you can, and when you can't, you can't. Okay. What we've determined is that you connected before by chance, even if there are specific reasons why you were able to to each time. Put simply, cause and effect are connected to the digital waves. Wait a second, how could you connect jump this time then? I don't have any proof to support my f answer, but... Perhaps there were others like you who tried and failed to open the lock and were disappointed? Who knows? Yes, this appointment is definitely key. I've rambled on long enough, yes you have. Please get this lock open as quickly as you can. Can I lower the encounters here? I can reduce them, I can't greatly reduce them, whatever. I take one step forward, and that I run to two Bodemon. I'm pretty sure this is the same digital space we encountered the Poyamon playing that game in. This is 100% that. Okay. We have to get access to the ability, guys. Um, copy and paste. Copies the target color data and temporarily saves it by pasting it on the colorless base. When correctly placed, the security will be dropped and you'll be able to continue. Movement to a different area will clear any copied data. Right, so basically, guys, you copy the color and paste it somewhere else. I know, it's kind of like a weird function to be doing digital, but whatever. So be it. Look at Word documents. You copy and paste stuff, you copy and paste colors here. There we go. <clears throat> the door should be unlocked now. Let's head back and check. How would you know that just by copying and pasting, Aaron? Come on. You ain't no psychic. You ain't no prophet. Oh, I was right. Cool. I didn't think... I, 
I had a 50-50 chance of being right. I'm glad it was the right 50. Yep, doors unlocked. Let's head down. <clears throat> yeah, this place looks very digitized too. Yep, Aaron's in bewilderment. Ring, ring. It seems you've managed to unlock the gate, so thanks for that. It must have been easy for you, given your skill. What? There's a bit of a labyrinth in the underground tunnel? What do you mean by a bit? Is there any sign of a Digimon or an Eater in there? Doesn't look like it. I see. It is strange to see just a small section of labyrinth. <laughs> I know I said we couldn't know what we would find, but I wasn't expecting that. I believe we have witnessed a, spe a special digital wave occurrence. It's as if it's some kind of current. That's a mouthful. I see, this is definitely a ley line. Oh? Have you ever heard of ley lines before? There are many in Tokyo, they are called dragon chains. Never heard that phrase either. Dragon signifies the undoing landscape, the hills and mountains. The dragon chain is what we call the flow of the land spirit. Sure, let's go with that. It's well known that Sosai Tenkai, advisor to Leasu Togugawa, turned Edo into a great Feng Shui city. Jesus Christ. It is said that he built a waterway and path to lead the Chi from Mount Fuji and Tokyo Bay to Edo Castle. And why Eren is nodding and crossing her arms, I know, I'll never know. A particular note in this instance are Kan Eig and Asakusa Shrine to the northeast, and Zojo G and Hai Shrine to the southwest, all big religious institutions. In Feng Shui, those directions are thought to draw negative energy their way. The shrines hold big festivals to purge and expel that energy. And if you look at the lines that connect Buddhist temples Kan EG and Zojo G, and Shinto shrines Asakusa and Hai, you'll find they cross right inside Old Edo Castle, home to, of to, to, home to today's to Tokyo Imperial Palace. It's really quite fascinating to see, hee <laughs> hee. Nowadays, the waterways have been swapped out for rail lines, and radio towers dot the northeast and southwest. You could say we finished what Tenkai started. Viewed from the eyes of current society, those rail lines and radio towers are artificial ley lines to supplement the old roads and waterways. That street where you're standing, underground, constitutes another ley line running through Tokyo too. Not just any ley line either, the one that's believed to emanate from Mount Fuji is supposed to run right through there. The man-made tunnel layer on top of it allows the digital waves to keep flowing in perpetuity. It's really a peculiar thing going on down there. That's what produced this quasi-labyrinth you're seeing before you, okay? Knowing those that, those weird voices that people are supposed to be hearing probably belong to Digimon that are appearing as a result. I could go on for a while about this subject, but at least you get you at least somewhat get what I'm saying, right? Of course she does. Ahaha. <laughs> I think that to mean you understood it well enough then. At this point, your work is essentially done, but we can't exactly just ignore this newfound discovery of yours either. Why don't you go a little further and check things out for me? You're the boss, and our Digimon are here, so this is definitely a digital under digital space or labyrinth, whatever you're gonna call it. The tunnel just, keep, just keeps on going, you say. If it stays in course like that, you're going to end up in Rapongi, which would mean... Hmm. You know, this reminds me of something else I've heard about before. As I mentioned before, Tokyo's ley lines stem from Mount Fuji, which is, of course, not all that a coincidence... Not all that a coincidence, given that it's a sacred place. And the energy takes old highways like the Koshu Kaido and the Takaido to get to the Tokyo from Mount Fuji. That energy joins up with underground waterways going along the highways that carry Mount Fuji's snowmelt to Tokyo flowing into the city together. One theory holds that the first place where that water appears above ground 
as the region Tokyo happens to be where I was put in the Kano. Put simply, all the way lines that flow throughout Tokyo could well be coming out of our own stopping grounds, believe it or not. Hmm. Wouldn't that be amazing to think about if it turned out to be true? Okay, now it's some giant ass open room. Stop right there, don't go any farther. You're standing at the border of the mun municipality. Go any farther and you'll be in central government territory. That's a hive we best not poke. Why not? Call me intrigued, though. That's a hell of a thing to stumble into just walking around inside that tunnel. We aren't prepared just yet to pick that sort of fight. There's still too much we don't know. This little tangent of ours has gone on long enough, I think. Head back the way you came and regroup at the office. So you had me all walk all this way for nothing, then. Thanks. Though it's not as strong as we were used to, that tunnel is causing a digital shift. We should probably keep it locked up like, like before, after all. <clears throat> I have no idea how I'm going to explain all of this to our client. No matter how you spin it, it'll probably be all be a lot to take in. I wouldn't be surprised if we come away looking even sketchier than we already do. Eh, we'll just let the Tetum on the Ocean deal with it. Some jobs are just left better to others. Hmm? You're curious what exactly was actually beyond where you stopped? That is two of us, believe me. Actually, while you were on your way back, I decided to look into it a little bit. Apparently what you found was a Kamashira research lab of all things. You don't say. Oh, don't be dense. I told you, that area is under the jurisdiction of the central government. That's not, so, that's not the sort of place you wander into for fun. If nothing else indicates that Kamashiro and the government have a tighter relationship than what we previously suspected. Going after Kamashiro could well mean that we'd also be ruffling the government's feathers. That's why we can't be hasty right now. We'll do what we can to prepare and cross that bridge when we come to it. This is just a guess on my end, but I imagine it was Kamashiro that changed the password on that door and rendered it impossible to get open. I'm willing to bet that too. They probably weren't counting on us being able to actually break in and snoop around. Knowing that, it could well serve as our ace in the hole, ace in the hole, the hole, later when the time does come to confront them, hopefully unawares. But again, let's not worry about hashing out the details until we have to, and just be grateful we have that up our sleeve if need be. On that note, I realize this case is technically closed, but what do you say about heading over to Rapongi for me one more time? Really? I don't mean on official business. Rather, I'm keen on doing a little independent intelligence gathering for our own internal use. Surely you're interested in knowing why Kamashiro has built a research lab underneath the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building too, right? So how about you just walk on through the front door and there and see what you can find? Sound good? Sure, whatever. <laughs> Oh, so I forgot to put the animations back on. Sorry about that, guys. I was grinding just a tiny bit. Good thing we didn't get any real fights. That was sucked. New area. Oh, are you here for a tour of the Wobby? Please, come on inside. Earn a civil servant. Nah, I just puked a little in my mouth. You must be confused. Let me explain. Construction on this new metropolitan building isn't entirely complete as of yet. Well, it was at one point, that is, until a major firm came in and decided the upper floors merited additional construction. As such, while that's going on, the lobby here remains free and open to the public to visit. It must be a very fascinating lobby, then. Did you make it inside the building? Alright, I get you, so they're all right if you hang around the lobby. Well, that makes our work a little easier then. Go on in. All you need at this point is a terminal somewhere so you can infiltrate their systems. Piece of cake at this stage, I'd say. So once you find a terminal, just slip on in and work your magic like always. Wish I was able to see it myself. Seems like quite the sight. It reminds me of the Toki Tower of Babel in a way. Heh, <laughs> guess I'm sorry to ramble again though. Don't worry about me. Feel free to get back to work now. You said this was unofficial business, Kyoko. Why do you lie to me? Yeah, so we can't go upstairs this place just yet. We will come back here in Chapter 19. But for now, there's a small digital shift happening here. 
Is something wrong out there? Oh, you found the terminal that's digital shifting a little? Huh, if this shift is weak while still prominent enough for you to notice it, it could be a sign this place will turn into a labyrinth later on. Hey. Well, for now, try the next jumping into it. We have no idea what could be inside there, so stay on your feet, alright? We'll do, boss. Alright, what time are we at? We're at 20 minutes. Okay, we're good, guys. I'll play a bit more. I always like to remind myself to clean my glasses every time I do an RPG, because I just cannot see out these damn things. Not that. Uh, reduce the counters, please. Grab this treasure real quick. Bug recovery. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. It's an either. Hiding in this digital space. Let's go kill it. But first, we're going to save. Okay, let not go has a help for because he had to take out Gatamon that one fucking first attack. What message am I getting now? Okay, let's try moving Gallimon to the different position. Let's try this. <laughs> See, why did this happen last time? So now Gallimon gets an attack in, which is great. Very good. That's not good, though. That's equally not good. This either never gave me any problems before. Why is it giving me so many problems now? I don't have to use a stupid revive capsule to beat this fight. I really might. I want to save these, but I don't have a choice at this point. This will just do the fucker in. Get fucked. Okay, two tries, but I'm still mad to use that damn capsule. Hmm, so you found either inside there after all. But you couldn't find any other evidence of note? Hee <laughs> hee, you're not seeing the forest for the trees here, Aaron. The fact that there was an either inside the terminal at all is big evidence in and of itself. Regardless, let's call it a day here. Get on back to the office now. That was probably hard work going all over the place today, but thanks to you, I think I'm starting to piece it all together now. While you were out and about, I decided to me measure the digital waves coming out of that building. And I found that the Metropolitan Metropolitan Government Building itself is one big digital wave force field. Gasp. 
From what I can tell, energy is flowing straight into the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building via the ley line inside the Kano Underpass. So the underground lab Kamashiro has been has beneath the built has beneath the building it is probably controlling the energy flow. You remember what I said about ley lines when you're inside that tunnel, don't you? She does. There are two things at play here, the natural energy flow from the earth along the ley lines, and digital waves emanating from a sea of electrons. If you can make a massive structure about the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, a hub for those things, then you can manip manip yeah, manipulate their flow. Why do they need to do it that way? Well, for one, digital waves might be invisible to the naked eye, but they have the mass and therefore require a vessel. And the bigger the vessel is that contains those waves, the more energy you can build up. It probably also explains the new construction going on, as more space would mean that much more energy Kamashiro could stockpile. I can see that. That extra energy would then go on to impact the building beyond the facility, hence the digital shift you ran, to and ran into in the lobby. And if any good digital shift comes in either, of course. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if that place goes labyrinthy eventually. We don't have to be concerned about that threat anymore now that you clean that joint up. On the other hand, it's worrying in its own way that things resolve so cleanly this time. The fact that digital waves can be concentrated in such small qualities as to attract individual eaters and produce a micro labyrinth is scary. If you hadn't been there, it might well not have been caught till much later. The whole thing doesn't sit well at me at all. In this case has taught us there's technology that can suppress most suppress large amounts of digital waves as they're built up and placed wherever. The deliberate and calculated nature of it all indicates that somebody's got big plans in the works, suffice it, to, suffice it to say. This, of course, costs more investigating. We need to figure out how long this ha has all been going on, just what exactly it's for. Let's keep our eyes peeled as we move forward, Aaron. We're on to something here, I know it. Okay, fine, we got it. We're done with that, that case. Then we got a super ring. Not that it really matters, but... Almost cyber super, okay. Your drive is really admirable. Keep it up. One way or another, we'll definitely deal with Kamashiro when the time is right. A lot of action over at Shibuya Records of Shibuya. You've been there, right? Yeah, that's a hit for our next case, guys. But we gotta wrap up here, right? Yeah, we're at 33 minutes. It's put Plus, with my edit, it'll be a bit less than that, because I don't. Th I gotta edit out that loss I had with the either. Yeah, so that'll do it for part 20. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.